The information we're sharing today is for educational purposes only, to help you recognize and defend against digital threats. Our aim is to equip you with the knowledge and tools you need to protect yourself, your loved ones, and your community from the ever-evolving risks that come with living in a connected world. By understanding how digital threats work, you'll be better prepared to spot them and take action before any harm is done. It's crucial to remember that hacking or accessing someone's private data without their explicit consent is not only illegal, but also deeply unethical. The digital world, just like the physical one, has rules and boundaries that must be respected. Violating someone's privacy can have serious consequences, both for the victim and the perpetrator. Laws exist to protect our digital rights, and ethical guidelines help us make the right choices even when no one is watching. Our goal here is to empower you with knowledge, not to teach you how to break into systems or exploit vulnerabilities. We want you to become a defender of your own digital space, someone who can recognize suspicious activity and respond appropriately. Think of this as learning the strategies that cyber criminals use, not so you can imitate them, but so you can outsmart them and keep your information safe. Imagine you're learning how burglars operate, not because you want to break into houses, but because you want to make your own home as secure as possible. The same principle applies to digital security. By understanding the tactics used by those with malicious intent, you can take proactive steps to safeguard your devices, your data, and your privacy. The techniques we'll discuss are indeed used by criminals, but knowledge is your first line of defense. When you know what to look out for, whether it's phishing emails, suspicious links, or attempts to steal your personal information, you're far less likely to fall victim to these schemes. Awareness is the key to prevention. Use this knowledge responsibly, always keeping in mind the importance of protecting not just your own privacy, but also the privacy of others. Ethical behavior in the digital world means respecting boundaries, seeking consent, and using your skills to help, not harm. The choices you make online reflect your values and can have a lasting impact. In today's world, our phones and devices hold our most personal secrets, photos, messages, financial information, and more. That's why protecting your privacy is more critical than ever before. A single breach can expose sensitive details and cause lasting damage, so it's essential to stay vigilant and proactive. Recognizing threats early can make all the difference. The sooner you spot something suspicious, the faster you can act to prevent a potential disaster. Whether it's a strange message, an unexpected alert, or a request for personal information, trust your instincts and take steps to verify before responding. We're here to foster awareness, not fear. Our mission is to empower you with the confidence and skills you need to stay one step ahead of digital threats. By learning together and supporting one another, we can create a safer online environment for everyone. So let's get started on this journey to digital empowerment and ethical information use. Phone monitoring means someone could be watching your activity without your knowledge. It's not just about software. Sometimes, no malware is needed at all. Hackers can exploit systems you already use or simply take advantage of your trust. Our phones are valuable targets, holding everything from banking info to private conversations. These attacks can happen without any software touching your device. The threat is real and happening every day. But by understanding these methods, you can reduce your risk. Stay informed and cautious. Your data and trust are always at stake. Let's look at one of the most common tricks phishing. It's simple, but the consequences can be devastating. Phishing is one of the oldest and most persistent scams on the internet. It's a tactic where hackers send messages that appear to be from trusted sources banks, delivery companies, or even your workplace, designed to look official and urgent. These messages often create a sense of panic or excitement, urging you to act quickly before you have time to think. The goal is to catch you off guard, making you more likely to respond without questioning the authenticity. You might receive a text or email warning that your account has been compromised, or perhaps a message congratulating you on winning a prize you never entered for. Sometimes the message claims there's a problem with a recent order or that you need to verify your information to avoid losing access to your account. These messages are carefully crafted to look legitimate, often using real company logos and language that sounds convincing. The link in the message leads you to a fake website that's almost indistinguishable from the real thing. 
The colors, logos, and layout are copied to trick you into believing you're on a trusted site. Once you enter your username and password, you've unknowingly handed your credentials directly to the scammers. With your login details, hackers can access your accounts instantly. No need for complicated malware or viruses. They can steal your money, lock you out, or use your information for further scams. The damage can be immediate and severe, affecting your finances, privacy, and even your reputation. During the pandemic, scammers took advantage of widespread fear and uncertainty. They sent out fake health alerts, pretending to be from government agencies or health organizations, all in an effort to steal personal information. These messages preyed on people's desire for safety and up-to-date information. Unfortunately, many people fell for these scams, giving up sensitive data like social security numbers, bank details, and passwords without realizing the risk. The emotional impact can be just as damaging as the financial loss, leaving victims feeling embarrassed and vulnerable. That's why it's so important to always be skeptical of urgent, unexpected messages, especially those that pressure you to act immediately or provide personal information. Take a moment to pause and think before responding. Never click on suspicious links no matter how convincing the message seems. Instead, go directly to the official website or open the official app to check for any alerts or messages. This simple step can protect you from falling into a trap. Remember this simple rule. Don't trust, verify. Always double check the source before sharing any information or clicking on links. If something feels off, it probably is. Developing this habit can save you from major trouble. By staying alert and cautious, you can protect yourself and your loved ones from the deceptive lures that appear on your screen every day. When we think of hacking, we often picture someone hunched over a computer, breaking into systems with lines of code. But the most effective hackers don't always target machines they target people. This is the world of social engineering, where the human heart and mind become the real entry points for cyber criminals. Social engineers are masters of manipulation. They might pretend to be a trusted friend, a helpful IT support agent, or even a concerned family member. Their goal? To make you feel comfortable, to lower your guard, and to get you to reveal information you'd normally keep private. These attackers are skilled at building trust or creating a sense of urgency. They might say there's a problem with your account or that you need to act fast to avoid disaster. In that moment of stress or confusion, they'll ask for your passwords, pins, or other sensitive details. Information that can unlock your digital life. Sometimes all it takes is a single phone call. In just a few minutes, you might hand over control of your email, your bank accounts, or even your entire identity without ever realizing you've been tricked. There are real world consequences. A well-known journalist once lost access to all her accounts after a hacker convinced her phone company to reset her credentials. In a matter of hours, years of work and personal memories were gone, all because of a convincing phone call. No matter how advanced our technology becomes, the weakest link in security is often human, not the software or hardware we use. Hackers know this, and they exploit our natural tendencies to trust, to help, and to avoid conflict. That's why it's so important to be cautious. Never share sensitive information like passwords, pins, or verification codes with anyone who contacts you unexpectedly, no matter how convincing they sound. Remember, legitimate companies and organizations will never ask for your password or personal security details over the phone or through unsolicited emails. If someone does, it's a red flag. If you ever feel unsure, don't hesitate to hang up. Take a moment. Find the official number from the company's website or your account statement and call them directly. Always be the one to initiate contact so you know exactly who you're speaking to. It's perfectly okay to be skeptical, to pause before responding, and to question anyone who asks for your private information. Your security and peace of mind should always come first. Don't let politeness or a desire to be helpful override your caution. Protecting yourself from social engineering starts with a healthy dose of skepticism and the confidence to say no when something doesn't feel right. Cloud backups are convenient, but risky if your account is compromised. Hackers with your cloud password can access everything, photos, messages, contacts, without touching your phone. The 2014 celebrity photo leak happened this way. Hackers use stolen credentials to access iCloud backups. Your cloud data is only as safe as your password. 
Use strong, unique passwords and enable two-factor authentication, 2FA. With 2FA, even if your password is stolen, hackers can't log in without a second code. Turn on 2FA for all your accounts. It's a simple, powerful defense. Don't overlook this step. SIM swapping is a frightening attack. Hackers trick your carrier into transferring your number to their SIM card. Suddenly, your calls and texts go to them, letting them reset your online accounts. Even tech experts like Twitter's Jack Dorsey have fallen victim. Hackers don't need to break into your apps, just hijack your phone number. Protect yourself. Ask your carrier to add a security pin to your account. This extra step blocks unauthorized SIM swaps. Be careful what personal info you share online. Hackers use it to impersonate you. Use authenticator apps for 2FA instead of SMS. Don't rely on text messages for security. Take control before someone else does. Free public Wi-Fi is convenient but often unsecured. Hackers can intercept your data or set up fake hotspots to steal your info. If you log into sites without HTTPS, your credentials are exposed. Security researchers have shown how easy it is to capture data on public Wi-Fi. Avoid sensitive activities on public networks. If you must connect, use a VPN to encrypt your traffic. A VPN shields your data from prying eyes. Make it a habit whenever you're on public Wi-Fi. Protecting your phone is about smart habits, not complexity. Enable two-factor authentication on all important accounts. Use an authenticator app, not SMS. Be suspicious of unexpected messages and never click unknown links. Go directly to official sites or apps if you're unsure. Limit what you share on social media. Hackers use it for attacks. Add a security pin to your phone carrier account. Review your cloud backup settings and app permissions regularly. Turn off backups for sensitive data if you don't need them. Avoid public Wi-Fi for sensitive tasks. Or always use a VPN. These steps make you a much harder target. It's not paranoia. It's preparation. Lock your digital door and keep your world safe. Your digital security is in your hands. The attacks we discussed all exploit human behavior. Awareness and caution are your best defenses. Don't let fear stop you. Let it motivate you to act. Start with two-factor authentication and a carrier pin. These small steps make a big difference. Share this knowledge with friends and family, especially those less tech-savvy. Scammers target the vulnerable, but you can help protect your community. A culture of security keeps everyone safer. Stay vigilant, be proactive, and value your privacy. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there.